Man. Y'all. <laughs> Starting over is... I don't know. It's bittersweet. Starting over for me is realizing that life isn't going to be the way it was two, three, four, five years ago, right? Starting over is realizing that sometimes you have to reinvent yourself. You have to reinvent who it is that you want to be and go and be that, right? Man, it's such a weird place, I think, sometimes to be in your late 20s because you're like a millennial. So you're in between like you know, kids thinking you're old school and then like at the same time still being in your 20s. And it's like, what? Like you're still young, but you know, sometimes, you know, it just feels like life is just, man, has been long, you know, it's crazy, it's weird. And then you talk to older people and they're like, you just getting started. So it's just like a, a weird place of like confusion and just trying to figure out life and i think you know people figure out life at different phases you know so there's no right age for you to say oh this is who i am but i think if you're actively trying to find out who you are then you're likely to find that person sooner than someone who's just living it up until they realize no i ain't supposed to do this like you know so i think you know when you put the work in it it exposes itself and, and, and shows itself a lot quicker you know the real you and who you are and things like that so starting over for me has been um a collection of things it's been you know different relationships as far as like socially and things like that so it's been you know things that I used to do and people that I used to be around every day I'm no longer around those people because I've changed my location right um so I've moved back home, which is also bittersweet. I think um, I'm really excited to be back home around my family, most importantly. And so, you know, when that happens, you just find yourself in a different place. Growing up in one place for 18 years, moving away from that place for, what, how many years? Five, six, seven, almost 10 years. Then coming back and realizing that it's not the way it was when you left. You know, so, you know, when you leave, you're fresh out of high school and you've got those friends that you're leaving and it's sad and everybody's going their separate ways. And then if you are anything like me and you come home 10 years later, you realize that, you know, you've created those relationships in college with people that you were seeing every day. And now you're leaving them and you're going back home. And, you know, some of the people that used to be here aren't here or they've started families and it's just life is just different. And, you know, starting over is realizing that sometimes you do have to rebuild relationships and, you know, meet new people and try new things. And it's good. Those things are good. But for some people, they can be a bit of a challenge because you have to figure out how to go about doing so. Um, so starting over is building new relationships. Starting over for me is also like changing some of the, the types of music that I listen to. I think some music is designed to be like depressing and like you kind of have to stop listening to those types of songs and listen to music that is more of a motivation to you because if you don't, then you start to apply some of those negative connotations and, and songs to your life and you expect things to go a certain way because of what you're digesting right so I think you know realizing that sometimes you've got to take things out of your life to 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 move forward is very very important um so music is a big thing for me I'm still gonna listen to a variety of music because I love it but you know again sometimes you have to take a step back and really be conscious of what it is that you're listening to um also what you eat. Um, I'm still going to eat a burger. I'm still going to hit up Chick-fil-A for some of that mac and cheese. Best believe that. But <laughs> um, if you all around change the way you eat, <clears throat> it makes you feel completely 100% better. And I know that for a fact that 
when I eat cleaner, I feel better. I, I do better. My mental clarity is better. So changing the way you eat is also is also very important. Um, starting over for me is just realizing that I'm going to have to be self-sufficient again home at home now. And I'm really, really looking forward to that. Again, I'm in a place now where I'm able to really explore my creativity a lot more and, you know, be able to try and take advantage of some of the time that I have. And I think that's really important for me. Um, I don't want to take any of the time that I have right now for granted. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I really have to continue to build on my creativity, my content creation. But one of the biggest things I think is like also in doing so and building an audience, I think you have to be vulnerable in some ways. Um, I like some of the content where you just sit down and have conversations with people because I think it just humanizes everyone again. I think social media is just so saturated and sometimes it's hard to just find a genuine conversation, right? Even in the midst of like the, the glitz and the glams and the jokes and the pranks and the like, <laughs> sometimes you just want to sit down and just um, be real with people. And I think that's, I think that's important. I appreciate that in, 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 you know, some creators um, just, just sitting down and, and being normal being normal like um I love being goofy I love incorporating humor in my content and just being me but you know again at the end of the day sometimes it's good to just sit down and <sighs> decompress and just have a normal conversation with people be real and just open up be vulnerable and you know so hopefully it, it makes people feel a sense of comfort to um listen and just know that you know behind everything is just a normal person like like them right so um so I think starting over is you know making sure that you know my content is hopefully relatable to people where they can you know have fun you know on videos but also know that I'm just a real person a normal person try and be a good person um and just provide great great content for for people so um you know yeah starting over is realizing that it doesn't have to be all you know glitz and glams and edits and you know you know that it can just be me um and I think that I think that that's enough you know I think that uh anyone who thinks that they want to just sit down and talk to people that's enough. You're enough. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just cool to be in that that type of space, that type of mental place where, you know, you know, as you're growing up when you're younger, you just kind of think that everything has to be a certain way. And in reality, it has to be the way that you want it to be. It's simple. Um, but yeah, growing up is realizing a lot of things, you know understanding that you know life is going to be what it's going to be um and honestly i didn't really have any specific direction for this video which is kind of crazy because i'm usually um really into planning and notes and bullet points and you know, like extra right <laughs> but for this video i do i just wanted to sit down and have a conversation and just chill and hopefully I might even be able to start a little series with this in the midst of like my uh hauls and things like that but just be able to just sit and, and normalize content have normal content like it's okay I think it's okay I think it's good um and anyone who just wants to come chill and chat in the comment section and just vibe and just know that this is a safe place is uh really important i just wanted to bring a new and another element to my content of normalcy um i like it
I do. <laughs> um, but uh, like I said, I didn't really have any specific, you know, any specific anything for this video. I just wanted to, to talk and just uh, talk about starting over and, you know, building a new life for yourself. I think any goal or aspiration you have in today's day and age is so achievable, you know. I think you just have to be able to be consistent. Um, procrastination, I think, is the downfall of, of me, for sure. Definitely. Um, but I think that it wasn't because I didn't want to do it. It was because my life was just so saturated with other things that weren't necessarily making me happy. But like I said, you know, now it's just a perfect time for me to be creative and for me to be open and get content out to you guys in a way that I enjoy. Um, so yeah, I might make this a little, a little series. Um, I don't have a name for it or anything yet, but, uh, and in between, like I said, the hauls and the fun videos and just sit down and just be, just be, um, I think that's really important, but, uh, I'm glad you guys stopped by. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't bore y'all too much. <laughs> if you do like this type of content, um, let me know. Let me know in the comments maybe, you know. Uh, and I hope you guys uh, stick around for the next one. Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.